Hi guys, Rob 46 here, working yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Now we're going to do the Yamaha YZF R6, the history and evolution of it, in this uh, little DLC category. So there are five races with this one. We'll obviously start with the first as the introduction if you want to read it, pause the video. So we'll go on to number one, which is a time trial around Sugo. Okay, 1999 R6, let's go. Okay, so here we are aboard the 1999 Yamaha R6. 138 flat for three stars around here. So we'll see how we go. Okay, out of the chicane and here we go. So, 138 to beat. That should be doable. Should very much be doable. So down into turn one. Yeah, got that stopped quite nicely. Through turn two. Okay. So far so good I think. A little bit wide there. Like trying to wheelie as well. That wasn't the best of entrance to that uh, S. Through the right hand. Uh. Oh, another wheelie. That almost caught me out then. Okay, onto the back straight. Another little wheelie. This hasn't been my cleanest of laps, that's for sure. But uh, it should still be quick enough to uh, do a 138. Because the, the time trials in this game are not hard at all. They're really, really easy to beat. Okay. Just uh, coming down the hill. Ready for that chicane. Okay, we go through the chicane. Try and get the exit out. Okay, now it's just a run to the line. Towards the line, 134.045. So that was uh, a nice easy one there. Like I said, wasn't the best of laps that I've done around there, but it was enough. Okay, so the next one, Brands Hatch. It's in the rain, and we're using the same bike again. So here we go. In the wet, extreme difficulty as always. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, that was not a good start. That was not a good start. The bike didn't want to get off the line. Okay, down into turn one. Through Paddock Hill Bend and get the run out. Sneak up the second. Yeah. He's going to try and get the long way around that one. Try and get the exit and get into the lead. There we go. Okay. Oh, we've lost the lead again. I sneak up the inside. Yes, I can. And get the run out of Certes as well. No, I haven't. I've lost the lead again. The gear ratios feel a little bit too long at the moment. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's a bit too wide. I've lost second place as well. And got that back just about thank you very much now the leader is pulling away so I need to try and pull my finger out try and catch him back up should hopefully be able to uh, make up a bit of time through Clark Curve and a bit more time through Paddock Hill Bend as well so through Clark Curve we go now we've made up a bit of time there we've definitely gained Or hopefully get the exit through uh, Paddock Hill Bend and get back in front up to Druids. There we go. Oh, no, that's fine. I thought I was going in a bit too hot and going to go too wide, but all right, we're back in front. 
Right, on the brakes a little bit earlier this time. 0.7 of a second lead. That is much better. Staying in the lead for now. So that is a job well done. But this is where we again lost the lead coming out of Surtees. I was in third gear that time. I needed to be in the second. But didn't lose too much time. Still in the lead by half a second. He is closing though. Okay, through the uh, Westfield little kink and down the hill. He's come through, is he? He's going to be on the inside for the next corner, and he is back into the lead. We've got a bit of a battle going on at the moment. I've managed to get the exit. I haven't. All right, again, through Clark Curve, then. We should be able to get back into the lead, try and take the long way around. I think we got this. We are back in the lead. So, one more lap to go. Point two of a second lead. Balak Hill and get the run out. There we go. That will, of course, extend our lead. Oh, that is too wide through Druids, but he wasn't up the inside, so that is fine. One point four. That is the biggest the gap has been yet. Can I hold that now to the end of the lap? Hill. Gap still looking good at the moment. 1.1 still, so it's still over a second. That is where I need it to be. Because he is going to start closing that down now. That gap is coming down, but I, I think we're alright. I think we're safe. Yes, 0.4, so he's really closed it in, but we've only got Clark Curve to go. Considering I get a better exit, we should be absolutely spot on. Okay, run to the line. We're going to win at a very wet Brands Hatch. Had to work for that one, had to fight for it, but we got it in the end. Five stars. Okay, on to the next one. Right, so Valalunga. Oh, we have to buy a new bike. Although it's got the 99R6 on the picture. But we're using the 2015R6 by the looks of it. Right, so let's buy the bike. That will do. And I'll upgrade it and then we'll go to the race. Alright, so the bike is fully upgraded. A very dry Valalunga. Using a well full traction control around here because uh of all the slow corners. Or the, the tight tight corners where we have to go down first gear. Okay, we're into the lead. A bit of a wobble though, going too wide. Off track. We've lost a position as well. Gain that back, thank you very much. Right. So the next corner, the AI are usually really hot on the brakes into here. So it wouldn't surprise me if we lose the lead. No, we're not. Oh, he had a go. But he couldn't quite get through. So not pulling away at the moment. The next corner, another hairpin. And come to the left and the right. And again, the next corner that AI usually hot into here. So we either go around the outside or up the inside. Oh, no, he's through. But I will take that back. Thank you very much. Okay. Should hopefully end the first lap in the lead. But yeah, the AI are pretty tough around here. And 
into the final corner. I've gone a bit too wide. Try and get the exit. No, completely missed the apex there. And second place is not far behind still. On to lap number two. Two tenths of a second we've got. Okay, we need to get the exit out of the second right-hander. So try and put a bit of a gap, if I can, over second place. Yeah, not really much of a gap at the moment still, and he will still close that in at the next corner. Oh, there he goes, trying to go around the outside, but that won't work. 0.2 of a second lead. The hairpin again. Oh, that was a bit too hot into that. But he didn't come through. Bit of a let off there for me. Oh, no. He's through. He is through. I'm on the wrong side. Switch to the inside. Get him back. Still hanging it out wide, but I'll take that back. Thank you very much. So we've definitely got a battle going on here. A little bit wide there. He's trying to come through again. Get off. Got a serious, fierce battle going on at the moment. So we're going to end lap number two with not much of a lead at all, if one at all. Okay, one lap to go, one tenth of a second lead. Cannot afford to do anything crazy on this final lap. I can't afford to make any mistakes, otherwise we're going to lose the lead. Half a second at the moment. Get the exit, please. Thank you. That's a little bit of a bigger gap than last lap. That may help me out. Even though they close right in through that corner. Point two. Don't go wide this time. Yep, that was spot on. Much better. Okay, we lost the lead here last lap, but staying in the lead for now. He's bound to have a go at the next corner, that is for sure. Will he go up the inside? Will he go around the outside? He's going around the outside. But we've got a better line. Oh, wide, wide, again, he tried to come through, oh that was too hot into that, I can hear him, he's not far behind, it's going to be through the final corner, can I hold it through the final corner, a little bit wide, the door's open, the door is closed, run to the line, I am going to take victory, but not by much. That was a tough race. Five stars for that one as well. Right, so Northwest 200. I'm assuming this is probably going to be two laps. We get to use the 2017 Yamaha R6. So let's go and get on with this race then. Right, so gearing we need top speed that is for sure um, that will do come on then here we go and let's try and get a good race going need to make up as many places as possible got some air there Around the outside of these guys, try and get the exit to put me into the lead, and that has worked nicely. Okay, into the hairpin. Absolutely fine. And previous races, I know that the AI have been all rush into the next corner. Let's get it stopped for the roundabout. Got through there nicely, didn't get tagged. 
Alright, well this is a good start. This is a good start. It is two laps as well. I thought it would be. And let's keep it on going. 1.3 second lead. Through this right hander completely flat out. Alright. Well, that is good. Going as fast as I can, 185 miles an hour, 186 over the little jump there, 186 now, hasn't got any more to give, I could have made like the, the overall ratio longer, we need to make sure we get stops, oh that was him crashing because he just went straight into the fence, it was way too hot into there. Um, yeah, I could have made the overall gear ratio longer so that we had even more top speed. But um, that would obviously compromise my lower gears. I think we pretty much got it spot on at the moment. We've got a huge lead now because second place just had a crash. And that is uh, that kind of happens pretty much with most races around here. That particular corner, again, the AI just, they don't have the correct breaker marker so they do tend to just fly into there which is quite funny watching them do that but it's also bloody annoying especially if they're not that far behind you um, and they can close you down enough like if you go to tip in I've had quite a few occasions where I've gone to tip into that corner absolutely bang on the racing line and then just get completely torpedoed from uh, some of that AI just not breaking in time it can be frustrating, but we've just had uh, enough of a, a gap to, to get midway around the corner and not get clipped. Get stop for this chicane. Oh, bit of air again. I think we're away with this one. We've got quite a huge lead now. It is all good. We've got one more lap to go. Which will obviously be even quicker for me breaks for this corner four and a half second lead at the moment past the church and there we really came off the ground but not too much this corner in ride 2, I, when I was trying to learn this track, yeah, I kept flying off there and over the cliff. Breaking way too late. Right, I've got to get ready for the next chicane. Okay, on the brakes for it. Yeah, nice. Get down, through the exit. Good. The final corner to negotiate, and then we've got one more lap to go. There we go, final lap time. Let's see what the lead is when they eventually go over the line. 6.7 second lead. And the good thing about the, the lead being that big now, I don't have to worry about being torpedoed by anyone because they're not going to make up that much time on the brakes when they outbreak themselves. It's gone up to seven as well. So I'm just going to keep pushing, keep going. And then we should win this one quite nicely. And then I think we've got one more race to go. And that will be it for the history and evolution of the Yamaha YZF R6. Wait for the next split. Wait for them to come through. So it was 7 seconds. It's now 8.7. We should be absolutely fine now. Just keep it going. Make sure I hit my breaker markers. Especially for the chicanes. Completely flat out, 186, 185, and 
get on the brakes for the next corner. Job done, nine second lead. I think we're going to win by over 10 seconds. Right. Nine point three is the gap now, so it is nearly ten seconds. Right, get it stopped for this chicane. Yeah, that was all right. That was all right. Just got the next chicane to do. That pretty much the last uh, danger point. That's a livery that I created when the, uh, the game first came out. Um, the brakes. Oh, am I, I'm in too hot. I'm in too hot. Oh, no. That was so, so close. I actually thought I was going to crash then. Because uh, I was so close to that uh, that blue hay bale. That was so, so close. I don't know how I managed to stay on that one. But uh, we managed it. Definitely threaded the eye of the needle there. Okay, 10.1 is the lead now. Coming towards the end of the second and final lap. Right, so just an extra cane, and then we are pretty much done. Not bad, not bad at all. That's it. Okay, just two corners to go. Just gotta get through Juniper and then to the line and we will be done. I'll do a stoppy. Oh, just a, a tiny stoppy. <laughs> so there we go. Job done with the Northwest the the what? The Northwest 200. Eight stars for that one. One race to go. One by 14 seconds. So the final race is around the Nürburgring GP circuit. Um, oh, we can actually use the race spec R6. Yeah, let's do it. The R6, the race spec R6. Okay, so it's on 120%, but I am that confident around here. I'm going to give the AI a head start. I'm not going to give him 5 seconds. I'm not going to, going to give him 10 seconds. Or even 15. I'm going to give them a 20 second head start. And we've only got 3 laps to do around here. So this is going to be me pushing to my absolute limit to try and catch him. So wait for the clock at the top right hand corner to go to 20 seconds. Here we go. 20 seconds to make up. So that is their head start done. 20 seconds. Can I make that up? Is going to take a lot of push in. Traction control is fully off. I have to keep an eye on the splits to see what is what the, the splits are and how much progress we're making. But yeah, literally three laps around here. It's a relatively long lap. It's over two minutes. Right. I haven't seen any splits come up yet. Is it not gonna... Is it not gonna tell me the splits? I don't think it's gonna tell me any splits. Well, that not going to be very helpful. I don't know how much progress I'm going to be making. 
But yeah, I'm literally going to have to be like... Just go as quick as I can. And hope that it's going to be enough. But yeah, the splits aren't working. It's not telling me. We are getting towards the end of lap one. Just about see him in the distance. We've just gone through the chicane. Which I'm about to come up to now. Get it stopped on the brakes. Yeah, that was spot on. Okay, well at least please tell me over the start finish line because we've seen no splits whatsoever in this lap. So the start finish will be coming very shortly. Please, please tell me what the split is. Oh, there we go. 8.3. So we've made up a hell of a lot of time on the first lap. 8.3 is the gap. And that's just to 11th place, let's not forget. If the leader is far and away out in the lead, I may struggle to do this. But this is lap 2 of 3. We are closing quite rapidly, but is it going to be enough? Definitely closing in on them. Definitely closing in. But again, the splits are not working. So I don't know what the actual gap is to 11th place. All I do know is that we're going to be quite close to them very, very soon. I mean, he's not that far ahead now, 11th place. I think we're going to make up places on this lap, that is for sure, because I am nearly with them now. Let's not forget this is on 120% extreme difficulty as well. Nearly there. Should be able to get him maybe into the chicane, maybe before. Before, there we go, there's one place already. Here comes two, a little bit hot into the chicane. Out we come. Yeah, and that's another place. So that is ninth place. The leader has got a bit of a lead. So this is going to be the final lap into eighth place. We're going to start the final lap in eighth. So final lap time. Here we go. Up the inside. That is seventh. Can I sneak sixth? Yes, I can. Nicely done. Yeah, there is a bit of a gap from first to second. So we've got to dispose of these guys first as well. Okay, out of here. Have I got him? I think that's going to be fifth. Yes, it is fifth place. Well, I can see the leader just about. I need to get past these guys as soon as possible. Here comes another one. Fourth place. Alright, up the hill. There is third. There's second, the leader. Still got a bit of a lead. Oh, I need to get past this guy. Come on. There we go. That is third. I am running out of time, but I think we might be alright. The amount of time we gain in the last sector, that is second place. Oh, I don't know, actually, that gap, it's going to come down, but is it going to come down enough? We should gain time through this kink. Oh, I don't know. We've only got the chicane in the final corner to go. Very, very tight into here. Oh, nearly crashed as well, nearly lost the rear. Here we go, into the lead. 20 second head start and we're into the lead by the final corner on the final lap. Wow. That was awesome. I enjoyed that. One. There we go, first place. How much quicker were my lap times? Obviously quite considerably quicker to make up that amount of time.
Ooh, that was uh, that was a tough race. I really didn't think I was going to do it there yet. So quite a bit quicker then. Nice. That's one way to do it. So we've got another R6 now. Another 2017 R6. That was an awesome, fantastic uh, last race there. I really thought I'd, it wasn't going to happen. Just managed to make up enough time into the chicane and out of the chicane. There we go. That is the history and evolution of the Yamaha YZF R6. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put a replay up of that uh, that race at some point on the channel as well. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.